Hey, it's Becky. Today's project is a pair of bedside shelves made from maple and epoxy resin. This wood has a bunch of beetle holes in it, some of which I filled using silver wire as an accent. Let's get started. These boards came from the same tree as my cross-cut cookie table. By now, the moisture content is super low, but at some point, these boards became a tasty snack for an unknown number of powder post beetles. The last time I visited in February, my dad helped me pick out a few boards and square up one of the edges. I took the boards home and eventually got around to finishing this project a few months later. During different times, I might seek to visit a shop with a thickness planer, but I settled for leveling the top surface of each shelf board with my handheld power planer. This is the project that really tipped the scales for me to make a 3D printed adapter to my dust collector because the planer makes big chips that fill up the bag really fast and plus the vacuum just does a much better job at capturing the chips so that I don't have to clean up wet sawdust on my roof. If you missed the project video about the dust port adapter, you can find the link in the description. Once the boards were flat on one side and the planer marks were sanded out, I took them inside and marked the rough positions of the shelves within the board so I know which holes I needed to deal with. Most folks might choose not to make a project out of this beetle board wood, but I wanted to embrace the holes instead. I happen to have some silver wire left over from some jewelry project that matches the average beetle hole size perfectly. I filled the holes by sticking the wire in and cutting it flush on the top of the board. I tried to scatter the bits around to create a sort of constellation effect, and I just kept going until I used up all the wire. Then I used some extra liquidy CA glue to drip around the silver bits so they would be sure to stay put during the later steps. Next, I set to filling the beetle holes with epoxy for the first round. I'm using art resin because it's got less noxious fumes than most epoxy resins, and it's also less yellowing over time. I followed the manufacturer's instructions and was sure to mix for the full three minutes. I used a glue syringe to get resin into each tiny beetle hole. This process was oddly satisfying and didn't take as long as I thought it would. However, the wood sucks up a lot of resin at first, so I did go over the holes a few times to fill them in as much as possible. The work time on this resin is about 45 minutes, and I used a heat gun to pop bubbles along the way. I let that resin cure and then came back with another pass to finish filling each hole so that it was at least flush with the surface, if not domed over. When all the holes were filled and cured, I cut the shelves to their final shapes before sanding.
Then I filled the holes and cracks at each end of the shelf. I had a dust tent set up for my earlier steps, but it's really a lot more necessary for the final full coats of resin. I brushed on a thin coat to the underside first. This will prevent the wood from absorbing moisture from the air unevenly, which could warp the shelf over time. Once that was cured, I used some tape around the bottom edges to catch drips and mixed up a fresh batch of resin to pour and spread across the top and sides. A few hours later, I pulled off the drip tape and did a second coat of resin to level out any areas that had soaked up more than others. The resin is hard to the touch after 24 hours and completely cured after 72. Since these shelves will each touch an interior corner, I used pocket holes along each edge to mount them. If they were flat on the wall with no corners, I'd probably use a bracket. I tried to find a stud for at least one of the holes and used anchors for the rest. These shelves are a welcome addition to our tiny Brooklyn bedroom, which really isn't big enough to host a proper nightstand or bedside table. These shelves are the perfect size to fit the essentials like your phone or glass of water, and I think they help elevate the otherwise mostly undecorated room. I'd love to hear your thoughts and resin project ideas in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my email newsletter and see what I'm working on next on my Instagram and Twitter. If you're interested in supporting my work further and can do so without hardship, Patreon is the best place. Thank you so much to each and every one of my patrons. I could not make projects like this without you. See you next time.